So this 150 with a 3.5 liter V6 twin turbo EcoBoost, how much power does it have? We have 400 horsepower and 500 torque. Oh look, there I am. Look at my <laughs> hair, it's blown all over the place. I'm old, I'm an old hippie now, but anyway. Toward Poudre Canyon. Yep. Here we go. A bunch of babies. So Look at them many babies. little ones. Yeah. Aberdeen Angus. That one was snuck over on the other side. saying that this paint scheme which is like a two-tone thing was around in the 70s and 80s but I was around in the 50s 60s and 70s and 80s and I never saw this paint color but what do I know but this is no XLT 150 Lariat not Lariat it's, at 20, it's an XLT F150 heritage model so that's just a little bit above like my XLT and this one's so cool it's got camper mirrors makes me happy to see camper mm -hmm. mirrors Hold on, take the like station. The big mirrors. Yeah, I do too. I think they're awesome. My hair is all blown all over the place. Mine is too, don't mind mine. Yeah, that's crazy. It's all really windy. And this one, it's really hard on Ford. I wish they would quit it. GM, if you want to know your towing capacity, your pail, you're looking at the door sticker. And tells you what that truck is, which is wonderful. Ram, you can go look up the VIN number and get exactly what's on that truck. And Ford, no. Ooh, they don't want you to know anything. They want you to be in the dark. So you got to go look through website after website after website and go to their RV truck and trailer towing guide and you got to surf through all that. Oh boy. Never fast. But this one, as far as I could tell, is ready to tow 13,800, which is exactly a thousand pounds more than what my 2018 truck that I have. It's an XLT. Same engine, 3.5, same 10 speed. So they raised it up, and that's even with the short bed. Mine, if I could have got a long bed, I could have been rated like 13,200. Mm -hmm. But even in this short, short bed, which is five and a half foot, you can get them like almost 14,000 pounds. I'll have to get the camera out and show you all this cool stuff in here because it has special features for that. So you that anniversary. It's got special uh, decals. It's got. Uh, special lid on the console. Yeah, and unique seat trims, inserts, console center screen is an animation when you pull up, it's a big giant screen. Mm -hmm. When you pull that up, it shows an animation of the 75th anniversary. Wow. Yeah, but this is the same fuel mileage I'm rated. This is, you know what, this is rated on the highway for fuel mileage? What? 23. Huh. Which is exactly what my 2018 is with the same engine. Now, which is good, 23 on the highway without a trailer. It's mm -hmm. very good. I think I'm probably getting on this one. It looks like it should be down to 17. We're pulling 8,000 pounds. Yeah. So we're nowhere Kinda maximum. But yeah, 17 yeah. is very good for that much, heading up yeah. the mountains. So 
so I wish mine got that. Mine used to get 23, and then I started putting these big heavy steel bumpers and all my tools, and now I'm down to about 18. I'm going to leave these trucks alone if you want to get fuel mileage. <coughs> but yeah, yeah, pretty interesting. And it's mostly five stars, actually. Five star crash rate on everything but rollover, and it's four stars. But side crash, frontal crash, overall scores, five stars. And Ford, the off 50 has been very good about crash stars, about leading the, the, the group there. This is actually these trucks, these Super Duties, and these Super Crews, like this one, the F-150, they're the number one selling vehicle in the United States. Now it sells the cars, it sells the trucks. Mm -hmm. So they're always pushing that. This is 75th anniversary. They're probably up to, I think, what, 40, yeah, 45 years of being the number one selling truck, but it's been a lot longer than overall vehicle. And this one's made in Kansas City. So they put it together, so it's all American. I couldn't even find a thing that showed a breakdown of where it's all made, but it looks like it's about all made here in the USA. The city miles per gallon is 17, which is still decent for a big truck like this. This is that 3.5 V6 EcoBus Twin Turbo, just like mine. <coughs> And what's really cool about this, this one has the back of the uh, the scale. What's it called? I'll find Yeah, Max Trader Towing Package, which is good. That costs 2,200 pounds. So I hope besides being that little wedge under the back springs, it's also a transmission cooler. I really hope that's what this has now. And let's see. I'm trying to find out all the really cool things about this. It's got tire pressure alert. SOS post crash alert. I guess it tells you after you crash. <laughs> Afterwards, <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, it says post. That's post. That's what it is. I guess. Hey, guess what? Anyway. <clears throat> we can figure that out. Yeah, electronic temperature control. Yes, this has a 355 rear end, which is what mine had. And at the time, you had to have that to get the max towing. You couldn't get a 373. I think now you can get a 373 without losing a whole lot. But they had just a Heritage Edition. Is almost two thousand bucks. It's one. It's nineteen hundred and seventy-five bucks. Interior work surface. How can that? Oh, maybe it is. It, it does. Our little table. We will show that. It does slip over. I love that. I yeah. like that too. Yeah, we'll fold that T shifter. Which at least it's a good T shifter. I'm trying to see what all you get for the Heritage package. You get these all-terrain tires, twenty inch. This interior workspace. The uh, 20 inch wheels, the dark spoke alloy wheels, the heritage paint theme. And then you go to the Copilot 360, that's another 750 bucks. This has got the giant moonroof. Check on that. And let's see. It's got the built in navigation. Power on board, so it's like I think it's 400 watts. It's not like a hybrid or anything. Max trailer package, ah, which is very expensive. Integrated trailer brake controller, which comes with the max tow package, and the manual mirrors. They tilt and power glass, but they don't power extend like expensive ones do. And one of the most expensive, one of the coolest things in here is the onboard scales with the smart hitch. It's only 650 bucks. And I'll tell you what your ton weight is in your trailer. No, it's cheap. Yeah, that is cheap. And then if you <coughs> If you know what the weight of your trailer is, and you can calculate all these things and actually adjust the weight distribution hitch and everything off of that package, I think it's a very good value. For what yeah, you, can do. you only get that for sure. Yeah. Power pedals. That's a 36 gallon fuel tank. That's what mine has. I mean, that's great. Mm -hmm. If you're towing trailers, you need all the fuel you can find. It's just how it is. Wow, this is the XLT Sport Appearance package. That was $465. It's the XLT uh, Heritage Seat, no charge, that's what I look oh, let's see, this is a 40-40 seat, you got the big console, uh, bed liner, tough bed spray in, that's good. So it's a nice package, but good gosh, they must have really come up if it's 6800 There's a few more packages in my truck, but you know, mine was probably 50 some thousand, and then it was 40 some thousand, and then I got the hill damage for 38000 but... 
I'm going to be in shock when I have to buy another truck in about another year. I yeah, will they be. just keep going up. Oh, it is. It's crazy. Crazy what it costs to get a truck nowadays. You do and all the same things, pretty much. Yeah, and it's not like... Uh, I think this is a five and a half foot bed, but it's not like... Uh, of course, some of that has to do with what things cost more with all the new pollution things they come up with every year. Yeah. And then, you know, with the, with the COVID stuff, did not go down in price. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to even get a discount on trucks. A lot of times you paid more than sticker, which I've never done in my life and I never intend to, but that's what most people are having to do. Yes. You have to pay more than sticker. And I, you know, of course, I'm special. <laughs> <laughs> I can always get a deal. <clears throat> but that's how that works. And you too can get a deal. If you become a journalist, man, start reviewing trucks. I'll come watch your channel and we'll figure out how to get you a cheap truck. I usually go to the same dealer in Brighton. I bought, I don't know how many trucks and cars from them. So, of course, I get a good deal. But I never know. So it's a crazy buying time. This is probably not the best time in the world to be buying a truck, used or new. But if you need it, you need it. And that's why you don't see the heavy duty trucks or the super duty trucks being discounted a whole lot because you know it's for work and you got to have it if you're going to work. So for the fleets and all that, they don't get the discounts they used to. But, oh well, these are different times we're living in. Still beautiful up here in Poudre Canyon. Yeah, I'm finally getting a little bit of ice. The water. Yeah, my road to the highway, which is dirt, gravel, and sand, it's a mile long, but it's like all underwater now because it's the oh dummies boy. never elevated, so the water sits right in the road forever. The snow sit there forever, and now the water's going to sit there forever because it can't go away because the ground still froze. Mm -hmm. That's no good. No. Well, these mountains are awesome up here. Ugh. That one camera's probably good. It's still out there on the Jeep mirror, isn't it? Yeah, we didn't lose it yet. Oh, good. That's <laughs> <laughs> We're saying about besides the three hundred dollar camera, you lose all the footage. Yeah, I love it. This red, this canyon has always amazed me how close you get to the rocks, right against the high road. Yeah. The road. You can get right up and about hit your mirrors on them. Gotta watch your trailer. Yeah, you gotta keep pulling it out of the river. Someday we'll get us a horse trader out here. We'll throw your horses in there and see how they like all these curves. Yeah, probably be good for them. Yeah, we'll listen and see if they're kicking the wall in the trailer. Oh, uh. mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, that's enough.